So this is the uh, side of this um, center section. And uh, what I'm kind of suggesting here is that we leave leave these squares kind of alone here. It's plywood. Um, Josh is saying he can just sand down this weathered plywood. So I don't think we really need to uh, change out some of the squares, which I actually have in my, in my bid, so you can save some money on that. And then what I would do down here, I could either fill this square in, or I could cut in a counter flashing to run across here. And what a counter flashing does is it uh, has any water that comes over here, uh, with, it would hit the counter flashing, then go over onto the rubber and then down and out. So what I would do is cut the counter flashing in, and then I, you could have the roofers come back and get some uh, uncured EVPM, wrap it into this, this area, kind of like what they did over here, and then run it down and then seal it onto inside the gutter so if you, this, uh, this downspout ever overflows or clogs up and your water backs up in here. It won't back up and run into this house. Plus, you probably right, what's going on right now is you probably have this probably gets full of water, and then rain splashing on here hits this particular panel and, and makes it deteriorate. So it's still not that deteriorated, but that's the best detail you could do. I mean, right now you can see there's no counter flashing, and as you can see down and behind there, but any water that runs down the face of this wall is going to uh, basically I'm going to get just pre in behind that rubber, and who knows where it goes. So that's what I would do. I would just put a little strip of counter flash, or maybe I'd fill that uh, that square, and that would get this, this side kind of um, taken care of. The other side looks pretty similar.